But basically, he like made it like kind of based it off of his real life growing up. Oh wow! And uh, some of the characters were based off of kids that he knew in the neighborhood and himself. You know, so. Um, but I think you know because he had you know worked doing both children's and adult animation. I think that's why he kind of like threw some adult jokes in there too because he knew like adults would probably watch the show you know either with their kids or like you know so i figured i guess he figured it would be like good to have some you know more adult humor in there too i mean i think that's um, a good balance i think you should trickle in a little bit but like you can't yeah. go overboard oh well, yeah you can't be too are, extreme yeah i mean chances are you're gonna like the um the parent the show's gonna air on a saturday morning there's a good chance of that so well i mean i guess now it's just going to air whenever and it doesn't really make a difference because we have streaming services. But back then yeah. the logic was just more or less the show. If it's a hit, it's going to go on a Saturday morning slot and then you're going to make, then you're going to be, you know, then you're gold. And there's a chance that the parent is going to watch it with the kid just because, you know, they, how, like how much time do they really spend with their kids? So they're going to do it this yeah. way. So you might as well pepper in a couple of adult jokes. I, I will say from personal experience, when you have a kid Saturday afternoon or Saturday morning, Adults do not have control of television. That's just a fact. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the kids' turn. But basically, every day we we have to, uh, you know, most of the day is is uh, his, you know, his shows. So yeah. Uh, so that's you know that I think that's they do that just cause, so the parents don't go like literally insane. <laughs> yeah. Although I have noticed with most newer shows. There's not nearly as much adult humor as when we were kids. No, I don't think so. I think I think because everybody's a lot for some stupid reason people are more sensitive now to things and also people are more keen to pick up on things. If something's yeah. there, they're like, you know, if if one person doesn't get the joke, then like there's all of a sudden there's ten people on Twitter who are mad and eighty thousand people who have nothing better to do than retweet something they really don't even know what the hell it is. Yeah. So, like, you just don't even want to do it. I mean, they've pulled back on SpongeBob a lot. I know. I've heard from like season three. Like, it's. I won't say that it's an unrecognizable show now, but I mean, the. It's not as funny as it used to be. Yeah. Well, I. I mean, also, it's been going for so. I mean, there's adult animation that's not as funny as it used to be either. I think when this you know. Funny. There's a certain point where you have to like kind of like say, okay, this show's been on enough. Like, let's end it. Like, The Simpsons, like, is one of those shows. Like, The Simpsons has been on for what thirty years now, yeah, and it I probably mean, should have ended like fifteen years ago. I mean, every season to, for for The Simpsons now, I I haven't watched a whole lot of newer episodes, but yeah, I, every once in a while I watch a new episode. Like, I watch I'll watch The Tree of Horror every year without fail, um, and then. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, I'll just watch a new show just to see, like, hey, is it still is it still good? I mean, it's still it's still decent. It's still yeah. it still has its place in the world. It's still good. It still is a draw. And it still has the audience that it'll command. Um, has it like, you know, has it seen better days? Yeah, of course. But I mean, it's been going on for thirty years. It's yeah. but it's still. I would say it still holds its own. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot of hilarious seasons anymore, but I think there's still like good enough. Yeah. Um, I think the only animated shows that are still going and that kind of still hold up from like season one that, and they've been going for a while is Bob's burgers. I think it's still pretty hilarious. I it's like, that show. yeah. I in the new that. episodes are just as good as it was in the beginning. You know, I it's think like the new episodes are better because if yeah, you watch the old, like, like something that we've been doing lately is um is uh my girlfriend for my birthday bought me the Bob's Burgers um burger cookbook. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And every once in a while we've I, I guess like once a month now, we've just been like going through the book and like when we're like planning out our meals, we just decide, Hey, let's do a burger one from the um from the book. So we try a uh -huh. different burger and you know, the so far they've been pretty slim and we've tried the um Mediterranean ain't misbehaving, and uh, oh, yeah, we've yeah. Uh, also done the um, which is very healthy, by the way. And we've also done the uh, mission of corn plished one. Mm -hmm. Um, and what we like to do is we like to just we like to cook the burger and we like to watch the episode that it's in 
Because yeah. in the book, it tells you the exact episode that it's from, yeah. which is a nice touch. And um, and a lot of the burgers that we've been trying are from the earlier seasons. I think the book only... I, I'm not sure what season the book goes up to. I think it goes up to like... I think it was six or something. I think it goes up to season six, to like season six too. Um, yeah. But we, um, we've been like... I really started getting into it on like the last couple of seasons. I think I had watched a few episodes here and there. Yeah. Before before we started really watching it together. And just watching the older episodes and comparing them to the newer ones, I think the show gets better every season. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. Um the other show that I think still holds up after like years is South Park yes. and I don't really watch South Park but I'll like you know I'll catch like an episode like here or there once in a while and like I, you know th like their like grasp on topical humor is like it's uncanny it's bar none like they like if something happens in the world they'll come out with an a, a South Park episode and it's like perfectly like explains what the issue is and makes fun of it at the same time like it's like yeah, you know, like like the election issue when like in 2016 when they had came out with the election episode, you know, like a, a giant douche versus a turd sandwich. It's like the perfect analogy for our our electoral system. I like, actually watched that one the other day. <laughs> <laughs> it's still so it still holds up. Yeah, I think one of my favorite parts is when I forget it's what is it like. Mr. Garrison that's running against Hillary or something. I don't yeah, remember. This was a more recent one. It is Mr. Garrison, but he like, yeah. he like basically ends up like going crazy and he ends up embodying like Trump. Yeah. My favorite part from that is when like they're on the debate stage and basically like Hillary's people are like, just say whatever he says is a lie. That's all you have to do. And whenever yeah. you respond, say whatever he says is a lie. And he goes up on stage. And he's like, Listen, everybody, this lady is clearly the best choice for president. <laughs> I'm not a politician. Vote for her. And then it goes to her and she's like, everything he just said is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like perfect. Because yeah, um, like, he like break because like he freaks out and he's like, I'm giving this to you. And she's like, <laughs> he's, she's like, what he just said is a lie and can't be trusted. <laughs> it's like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, well, it's just, you know, uh, that's, like, rare nowadays to find shows that are, like, can hold up after, like, s so many seasons, you know? it's like I mean, and also South Park, like, it has the reputation where they're untouchable from, like, yes. any of these, like, cancel idiots. Well, they, they have fuck you money, that's why. Yeah, well, it's not even just that. It's, like, it's, like, one, it's the fuck you money, but two, it's, like, everybody, like, this is their thing. Everybody yeah. has known by now that, like, this is the one thing. Like, if there is anything, like, sacred and untouchable, it's South Park. Yeah. Well, because like, they know, cause like, like, if, they, if they get targeted by someone who's trying to cancel them, they'll just make an episode making fun of those people. Exactly. And, and, like, and all those people will watch it yeah. because they want to see what, like, the episode, like, you know, they'll just... You know, it's like when Howard Stern was, like, doing his, like, when he was originally, like, really gaining popularity as a shock jock. And uh, this is in uh, in the movie Private Parts. It's like... Oh, that movie's what, what I never read the, the book. The, yeah, the... I wanted to. Was it? They're talking about, like... It's like the, the studio executives are all talking about Howard Stern and, like, they're, like, saying, like... Uh, so, you know, what a, the number one thing that his fans say is that they want to, the reason why they keep listening is they, they want to see what he's going to do next. Yeah. And it's like, and then like the, the people that he, that they complain about him and hate him and call the studio and complain and say he should be taken off the air. The, the number one reason they keep listening is because they want to see what he's going to do next. And it's like right. the same thing with South Park. Like, you know, the, they're, the people that hate them want to see what they're going to do next. The people that love them want to see what they're going to do next. So right. it's like everybody watches. Well, also they even have the reputation, like, um, like in the um, in the Seven Days to Air documentary, where like they get they, they take you behind the scenes of how a show is of how an episode is made, where like they literally make it the week before it's supposed to come out from start yeah. to finish, which yeah. is why the timing is impeccable and why they like get everything. Mm -hmm like so fresh because they can't do it any other way 
Um, yeah. It's stressful as hell, and I don't even know if I could even keep up with that, but you yeah. know what? I would love to try. If, if Trey Parker and Matt Stone want to give me a shot at this, sure, I'll do an episode. <laughs> um, <laughs> I may not live to tell the tale, but I'll do an episode. Um, but in in the Next Day Air episode, it's like um, they're, they're talking to somebody, and he's – and. Um, and he's just something along the lines of like, yeah, people get offended and people have like said, hey, this is like, I can't believe they did that. This is offensive. We should get them pulled. We're like, this is the one time in history where like the whole like Comedy Central is like, and like the whole rest of the world looks at the person who's like accusing South Park of being offensive. We're like, yeah, didn't you get the memo? This is this, this is the show, you idiot. And like everyone yeah. just ignores them. Yeah. It's the only instance where I've seen where they can really get away with that much. And it's amazing. And it shows that, you know, despite what despite what the internet and what a lot of media and what this cancel culture hype BS is telling you, there's still people with some balls left in this world. Yeah. Well, and I mean... It, I mean, it goes to show you, if you just keep doing what you're doing and you ignore all the nonsense, then it's still going to happen for you. So, like, don't even worry about it and don't, don't sweat the small stuff. I mean, if you're a good comedian and you're, or you're good, you know, at writing jokes, like no matter how offensive they are, like or like off color, we'll call them. If they're funny, they're funny. I mean, you just you know, have and thick you... skin too. Like that's really the thing. Is like you have to have right. a thick skin. Like Anthony yeah. Jeselnik. There's a lot of like he might be the most offensive comedian right now. I mean, uh, he's not my favorite. guy. I've never heard of him. Um, he's. He does – he's mostly been on, like, a lot of the Comedy Central roasts. He does have yeah. a couple of specials on Netflix, but his his humor is in was about is about as dark as you can go. Like, um, he's pretty funny, but you have to – you he's one of those – you have to be in the mood for what yeah. he does. Like, you have you – mm -hmm. like, you have to – you have to go into it saying, all right, well, this is what I'm in the mood for today. Like maybe yeah. you've had like a really rough day and you're like, all right, you know what? Let me get somebody who's going to make fun of this. Like unapologetically, like there's plenty of dead, mm -hmm. like there's several dead baby and dead pet jokes in his act. Oh, okay. It's, it's stuff that you need to be ready for. But yeah. if you know what you're going, if you know what you're getting, then you'll probably have a decent time. Mm -hmm. But if you're not ready for that, then you might want to put something that's a little bit safer. Like, Maybe maybe put on Patton Oswalt that day, <laughs> but you know you can and, or, or like Joey Diaz. Joey Diaz just oh my, speaks yeah. his mind. He says what he says, and you know there's nobody nobody can stop him. And yeah. He doesn't care if like people have tried to cancel him many times, and he's like whatever. I'll just I'm just gonna keep doing my thing, and like nobody and like it doesn't matter, which is yeah. really the secret anyway. You just ignore it, and then it goes away. It might well, take like, a little longer, but you just ignore it, and you go away. There's plenty of comedians that do that. Like, you know, Chappelle, like, he doesn't oh, really yeah, give Chappelle's a shit. Chappelle's untouchable, too. Yeah. Uh, Dice, you know, I, I think Dice is one of those probably, like, considered one of the most offensive comics of all time, but oh, yeah. people still, I mean, freaking, still he still it. sells out. Yeah, he still sells out theaters all the time. Yeah, and you know? God bless him, he deserves it. Yeah. So. All right, so back to Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 